All is the German. Once again, welcome to the Rajas Kaka Sungura YouTube channel. I want to proudly announce that uh, this video is coming to you via the newly donated Canon 5D Mark III. Mm. This video is recorded on a camera mpia ya Canon 5D Mark III. This camera kaka, it landed from the United States of America today. I received it today. Na it was donated by one of our fans who value our work. And he said, Kaka, I must give to you something big. And I'm surprised kwamba meleta camera kubwa. Wale munaelewa bay ya Canon 5D Mark III. Munajua inauzwa pesa ngapi. It's a huge donation. And we highly appreciate wherever you are. May God bless you. Last month, we also received a Canon 90D brand new from America again and all these donations is because of our good work that we are doing and God bless you. If you want to donate anything to Kaka Sungura, ukitaka kupeana ta ya kumulika studio, ukitaka kupeana microphones, we, we will highly appreciate na tutashukuru. We kuja inbox, nilise, Kaka unataka light ni pesa ngapi? Unataka microphone ni pesa ngapi? And God will bless you. Like now we need a camera stands zenye ze kwa hapa zimezeeka zine zarusha camera chini. But see how ya meleta haba. Turudi karika siyasa. Kaka nataka ni kupe mfano moja hapa. And we'll be using Swahili and English where applicable. Upate baba. Manaume. Ako na watoto. Ako na bibi. Siku moja mtu wameniuliza kaka je. Wewe ni mwalimu ambaye ame train. Kamambia pana. Lakini nilifundisha mwaka moja. Kabla niende kusomia wanahabari. Sikiza mfano huu. Manaume, ako na watoto, ako na bibi. Watoto wanaenda shule. Lakini hili jizee au jibaba, pale inje akiwa outside the family. Yeye ndi anasponsor marafiki. Kwa mamba ya chakula, mamba ya vinyuaji, travels, na mambo mengine kwa kujivinjari tu huyu jamaa anatembea kwa gari kubwa ako na gari nzito anatembea nayo kumbuka ako na watoto wako shule ako na bibi anapotoka matembezi akirudi nyumbani amepaki gari ya Prado nyeupe nye ama nyeusi hapo nje kwa nyumba suti amevaa ni expensive viatu amevaa ni expensive lakini anapoingia nyumbani kwake watoto wanapomwambia dadi tulifukuzwa school fees anawaambia sina pesa live within your means lakini kumbuka ako na gari kubwa Kumbuka pale nje ako na jina kubwa. Kumbuka matanga yeye ndiye anapeana pesa nzito. Kumbuka katika vyakula yeye ndiye analipa bills kwa marafiki. Lakini akirudi kwa nyumba watoto wanamwambia dadi. Tumefukuzwa karo. Anawaambia we, jamaza. Mimi sina pesa. Na ukimwangalia unaona kweli kiatu ni elfu kumi? Unaona kweli suti ni elfu ishirini? Ata saa mevaa kwa mkono ni elfu wa msini. Unapo muangalia tu from the look. Sasa kama mutoto. What do you do? Kwa baba kama huyu. Hmm? <coughs> Akiambua kwa nyumba unajua. Eh, sukari meisha. Anawe kunywa hivo. Sina pesa. Live within your means. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to give you a video. William Ruto amekuwa kanisani leo. Baba. Ebu sikia alio yasema siku ya leo. And I will come back. We proceed. I know we have a situation in Kenya with our doctors and interns. I want to implore on them 
that it is important for us as a nation to agree that we must live within our means. We must live within our means, fellow countrymen and women. We cannot continue to spend the money we don't have. And I am telling uh, our friends, the doctors, that we mind about them, we value the, the service they give to our nation, but we must live within our means. The resources we have are only sufficient to pay 70,000 shillings for intern uh, doctors. It is not a salary, it is a stipend for only one year, and then they will be employed. And we want all our doctors, all our doctor interns, to be taken in, and that is why we are going to spend the resources that we have to make sure all the 1,500 plus or minus doctors, all of them are absorbed at once, and we have the resources to make sure that they are absorbed at what we have offered as government, because as a nation, we must live within our means. And we are going to have a bigger conversation as Kenyans, so that when the Bible says that a responsible father leaves an inheritance for their children, we as Kenyans, we should not leave debt to our children. We should leave an inheritance <laughs> to our children. And so I am very confident that as a country, we are going to make the right decisions. And I promise you that I will always speak the truth to our nation. Ladies and gentlemen, huyo ni Ruto. Na hapo mahali umeona amesimama ni madhabau. Ako kanisani. Madhabau mbele ya Mungu na mbele ya Wakristo. Anasema hivi. We must live within our means. Ruto is talking to striking doctors. Madaktari ambao wanamwambia baba yetu mishahara yetu ni midogo. Live within your means. Atuna pesa ya kuwalipa. Live within your means. A father telling the children, live within your means. Umesikia Ruta anawambia, ati munani wama mishara. Hatuna pesa, we can't spend what we don't have. That's what Ruta is telling them. We, yeah, doctors, what, nini watoto, we can't spend what we don't have. We can't. Na anawambia, at doctors, we value you. <laughs> you are our sons. Come on, Dr. we value you. Now, Kaka, let me ask you. How do you value the children you cannot provide for? How do you value children you can't even buy food for? How do you value children which you cannot even pay school fees for? The responsibility of any father is to provide for the family. If you cannot provide for the family, you are a deadbeat. So in Kenya, you are a deadbeat in nani? Kila wakati, daktari wanapo sema, tafadhari, karama ya maisha imepanda, tuongeze mishara. We don't have money. Ruto is saying, we are going to have a bigger conversation on this. Which issue when doctors are suffering? When people are dying in hospitals, which conversation are you really telling us? From that video clip, his father saying that as Kenyans, we should leave an inheritance for our children. Now, Nasema, I must speak the truth. I wonder which truth. Kama ni magari mazito, Ruto amekopa pesa kununua magari za ofisi. Juzi mumesikia katika vyombo vya habari that in one year and five months, Ruto has borrowed more than what Uru borrowed in ten years. Yani kwa mwaka mwaja na nusu, Ruto amekopa pesa ambazo Uru alikopa kwa miaka kumi yote. Alafu huyu ndia mtu anasimama kuambia doctors, we don't have money, 
We can't live beyond our means. Ruto can spend billions of shillings to entertain people in state house. But if you kwa doctors, watoto, hanawambia relax. Hatuna pesa, relax. We have no money. This regime can borrow to renovate a dias, a state house dias. Millions of shillings. Like if you kwa mandaktari, relax, relax. Ah, ah, relax. Pesa hatuna, hatuta kopa. Relax, relax. The same regime can borrow to renovate state lodges across the country. Lakini kwa madaktari, relax, relax. Hatuna pesa, we can't borrow. And this is the father you are claiming to have. Ladies and gentlemen, Kenya is a rotten country. Na anasimama kwa madibahu, anahapa kwa mungu, anasema, I must speak. Which truth? Pesa ngapi umekopa mnakula state house? Madaktari zao zinakosa. Unawambia ati hatuna pesa, we must live within our means. Vila mnakopa kulipa mafundi wa state house, you can also borrow to pay doctors. Kwani hiko nini? Eh, tasa kama unaboro. Kama, kama baba, unaboro kununua gari. Why can't you borrow to pay school fees for your kids? Is that, is that simple? If you can borrow money and, and buy food for friends, why is it becoming too difficult to borrow and pay school fees for your kids? So between friends and the kids, who is more important? So I'm asking Ruto, between building state lodges and the doctor's strike, which is more important? But anyway, as I always say, it is your president and not my president. God bless you, ladies and gentlemen. See you in the next video. Asante Nisan.